Can you tell me about the ring on your finger? This is called the Liberty Ring. There is a, an artist, Veronica Harris, who has designed and, and manufactures these, these rings. And the idea is that people um, demonstrate the importance of certain concepts to them, which I think is pretty cool with that rings. I'm not really particularly a jewelry person unless mm -hmm. it's kind of personal. And so it's just like reminding you the importance of freeing your mind, mm -hmm. and that is that driving your consciousness up so you're aware of what's going on around you. Being a young black woman, what are some of the challenges that you face? It's like me like going into an interview and like really giving my all to the, the person that's interviewing me and like they're, them turning me down because of the color I am. Yeah, that's, that's, very, that's one of the, the real challenges of living your life in a black body, right. is that you always have to raise that question. Was this person really better than me or, you know, mm -hmm. is, is this the big, right. the big D, the, the big discrimination? How do you see changes in terms of those kinds of issues? What could we do from my generation to make life better for you in your generations? You guys can like inform us like what happened in your lifetime and we can all come together and like make ideas and change basically like everything that's going on so that in the real world like we can be united and different. We can like be equal and people will get like the same treatment that others will get. Let me, let me invite you to consider something. The way in which we have been taught to think about ourselves as black people particularly mm -hmm. makes us want to be equal to A, and I'm not talking about individual people, but the collective white power structure who oppresses you, and B, what it reveals is that you believe they're superior to you. You are a miracle. You have everything that you need, and yet you want to be equal to someone who you really collectively do not see as acting in your best interest. Tell me, tell me about that thinking. What do you think that means, that you want to be equal to people that you see as treating you in an oppressive and disadvantaged well, way? Well, actually, now that you say that, I kind of want to be better than them because what they did was really awful. And like, I want to show them like, that what you did was really bad and that we can do better than you guys. And as an individual, you already have the power to do that. As a group, as, just as individual white people, you know, are not all racist or oppressive. There is no such thing as race, by the way, we're all the same. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. But collectively, mm -hmm. You know, and, and that was what you suggested before, coming together to figure out how to be, how to be who we are. Now, that doesn't mean that the economics, the, the discrimination and all that goes away. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think you're on to something when you look at yourself as the, having the capacity, and you already have it. You're not oppressing anybody. So it's, it's a challenging kind of world, I understand that. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and you, you offer great challenges, much different than we had. I mean, in many ways, you're, you're brighter, mm -hmm. but, but may have lacked some of the experiences that, that, that gave you something that, that um, enables you to see yourself mm -hmm. as magnificent. Right. And don't you ever forget it. Well, <laughs> thank you.